here we have some problems that are meant as review of some basic operations uh, dealing with decimals and fractions. And uh, having a solid grasp of all this stuff will really help as we get further on into the algebra. In this first one, we're just doing some adding and subtracting of decimals. And you know, you can just pull out your calculator and then crunch this out if it's confusing. Uh, I'm going to try to do this one uh, just by hand. We have a negative 3.2 minus a negative 3.6. And the key thing to remember here is that when you minus a negative, you're adding. You're adding it. So it's like two uh, negatives make a positive. So this is negative 3.2 plus 3.6. That part comes out to 0.4. And again, check that on a calculator if you're not sure. So three, uh, sorry, 0.4 plus 3.2 is going to equal 3.6. All right, let's look at some of this work with fractions. Here, we're uh, being told to add these two fractions, and they've got them stacked on top of each other like um, a traditional addition problem. I don't like doing addition of fractions that way, so I'm just going to rewrite the problem. So we've got 3 fifths plus 7 fifteenths. When you add or subtract a fraction, the denominators have to be the same. Once the denominators are the same, you just add what's on top and put it over the, the shared denominator. So we've got a problem here because we don't have the same denominators. We've got a 5 here and a 15 here. The trick to remember is that you can multiply by any form of 1 you want. And remember, 1 can be 2 over 2 or 3 over 3 or anything over itself. So in this case, I'm going to multiply by 3 over 3. The reason I pick that is because when you multiply fractions, you multiply across the top, across the bottom, I'm going to end up with 15 on the bottom. So on the top here, I get 9. On the bottom, I get 15. So that's 3 thirds times 3 fifths. Now we can add that to our 7 fifteenths. And we get, well, 16 fifteenths. And if that's good enough for an answer if, if you want the improper fraction, or you could uh, turn that into 1 and 1 15th. All right, let's try some more work with fractions. Um, here we're, well, we're adding negative 7 ninths plus a negative 1 6. So, you know, really we're subtracting negative 7 ninths minus 1 6th. And again, we need to get the denominators the same. In this case, I think I'm going to have to multiply both of them by something. And the number that jumps out to me is 18, because if I multiply 9 by 2, I get 18. And if I multiply 6 by 3, I get 18. So that seems like the simplest one to go for. So we're going to multiply this side by 2 over 2. And we're going to multiply this side by 3 over 3. When we do that, 2 times 7 is 14. So we get negative 14 eighteenths. And then plus a negative is the same thing as minus. And 1 times 3 on the top there is 3. And 6 times 3 is 18. So we've got negative 14 minus 3. Both are eighteenths. So we can just take negative 14 minus 3, which is negative 17. And then put that over the denominator, 18. So negative 17 eighteenths. Let's try uh, a couple of uh, multiplication and division problems. We've been doing a little bit of multiplication as we're going here, multiplying by forms of 1 to get our denominators the same. So you should know already that when we multiply fractions, we multiply across the top and across the bottom. In this case, one of them is negative, so our whole answer is going to be negative. 6 times 5 is 30, and 7 times 7 is 49. And I think that's as simplified as we can get it. Yeah. Now, when you divide fractions, the thing to do is to rewrite it as a multiplication problem. So you take that second one, and you just turn it upside down. And instead of division, you put multiplication. So this is a negative 8 fourths. So 3 fourths divided by negative 4 eighths is the same thing as 3 fourths times negative 8 fourths. So again, we'll multiply across the top, across the bottom. We're going to get a negative 24 sixteenths. And let's see, I think we can divide those both by 8. So there'd be a negative 3 halves. So that is a little bit of work with some basic operations with decimals and fractions.